This is Democracy Now!, the War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman with Juan Gonzalez. As we've reported, Haitian police said Sunday they arrested a key figure in Wednesday's assassination of Haitian President Jovenel Moïse at his home in Port-au-Prince. Haiti's national police chief said they arrested Dr. Christian Emmanuel Sanon, Haitian-born Florida doctor, uh, that he arrived in Haiti last month with, quote, political objectives. Police said Sanon is one of three Haitian-Americans now arrested in the attack, along with 18 Colombians. The Miami Herald reports the Colombians said they were hired by Miami-based company CTU Security, which is run by a Venezuelan man named Antonio Emmanuel Entriago, who is known to be anti-President Maduro of Venezuela. Haiti's interim government says it has asked the United Nations and the United States to send troops to help secure key infrastructure. The U.S. has so far declined, but has sent an interagency team from the Department of Homeland Security, as well as the FBI. Colombia has sent their head of military intelligence, because the massive number of those involved, it is believed, with the assassination team, are former Colombian military or Colombian. For more, we are joined by Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, the U.S. representative for New York's 14th congressional district. She represents over 650,000 people across parts of Bronx and Queens, one of the most diverse districts in the United States. We want to talk about the mayor election here in New York. We want to talk about infrastructure and the Green New Deal, Congressmember uh, Ocasio-Cortez. But this latest news in Haiti and the call for U.S. or U.N. troops from some sectors, the interim government of Haiti, what is your concern here with President Biden pulling the troops out of Afghanistan and the possibility of pressure to go back to the U.S. going back to occupying Haiti? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I, I, you know, I think there are an enormous amount of concerns. I, first of all, applaud the withdrawal of troops from Afghanistan, but this is, you know, the intention of not of that is to not relocate uh, troops from Afghanistan to anywhere else. And I don't believe that that was the intention in withdrawal um, from the White House either. Uh, but this situation is extraordinarily delicate and extremely fragile. And I do not believe right now that the introduction of U.S. troops without, particularly without any sort of plan, uh, is it sets any of any community, whether it's the U.S. or whether it is Haitians, up for success. I do believe that uh, with the assassination, the, the people of Haiti and, and the, the country is in a very delicate moment, uh, and our role should be in supporting a peaceful transition and a peaceful uh, democratic process uh, for selecting a, a new leader um, and avoiding any sort of violence, but particularly uh, in really carrying any, uh, you know, supporting any due process for justice here in the United States for any actors that may have been complicit on U.S. soil.